Hey guys, welcome to another video. Iquinix here, back at it again with yet another one. So, uh, okay, um, recently we learned how to get our, Kenyans dri our Kenyan driving license. Kenya's driving license. Yeah, in our last video, we learned that. And uh, uh, some videos back, we la uh, I taught a friend how to drive an automatic transmission car. An automatic transmission car is a car that, you know, automatically, automatically selects your gears according to your momentum. So uh, I get uh, deep kidogo into that uh, automatic automatic gearbox and all that, but start dive into that today because babu, uh, that video it has a lot of technicalities and uh, you guys I'm quite fans of technicalities. So in it, uh, so in this video, uh, according to the title, now I'm there some some don'ts, some don'ts, yeah, ni don'ts, some things you're not supposed to do in your in a in a automatic transmission car. So obviously, automatic transmission car, they do differ with our manual, sana, a lot, and uh, and uh, yeah, so ningependa just to highlight some small things, so that, you know, to keep at our licenses, our licenses, na, to keep at our licenses, and uh, our, maybe our fast cars, to go too safe. So yeah, it's a short list, around uh, seven things, too, too simple, simple. So, yeah, see long video. <laughs> so the first thing on my list to be coasting in neutral. Uh, basically, coasting in neutral is when maybe you have so much momentum, you choose to put it into neutral. So that maybe, uh, okay, e e could put into neutral. You metoka kwa you know the you know the manual transmission. Basically, sometimes back you know a lot of cars on the roads were you know manual transmission. So uh, basically, when you're in a manual transmission, maybe you're in like third gear uh, and you uh, have onto a hill and uh, you feel like you so much momentum to take you down you don't have to use that gear anymore you just pop it into neutral you know just control the speed with your brake so um or you know maybe you know back then when cars were not as fuel efficient as these days maybe you know save fuel so uh to put it into neutral uh on a manual on an automatic car you can like some disadvantages one in the Okay, well, basically when you put it into neutral uh, you eliminate your control over the car and if anything happens uh, you'll be there you know trying to you know maybe swerve to the left with no power and uh, you cannot maybe control all power out of a slide just you take the control out of, of your you know out of your hands and you just leave it out there uh, I think I believe in some we're gonna find research on this I believe in some countries uh, especially the ones in the western side USA Canada I believe South America and some parts of Europe it is really illegal to actually it's actually illegal to put to put your car in neutral uh, or coast in neutral and uh, I don't know how they might get you but if uh, if you are found like in a neutral position I guess you might get yourself into some problem the second thing is like uh people think okay can okay, usually not save fuel okay uh cars these days okay let's say kitambo kitambo it would be it would be sensible because manual cars you know tend to burn fuel while in gear so uh but these days you know Joga, uh, all these new cars with sensors and you know a lot of computers they do sense that you go in a in like let's say you're not on the gas or maybe you come to and they actually cut cut the fuel uh significantly as in they do cut the fuel so you're not using as much fuel like as in yeah you just you're using like really really low amounts of fuel so cars these days are intelligent or kuna aja kuweka kuweka neutral it is saying you're saving on fuel so yeah coasting in in neutral uh that's the you know first don't and uh, Obviously, there will be a good reason, Zappo. So, uh, if actually, if there is any other reason on that, please, me and be a pile of comment section as in, you know, why not cost in neutral? So, yeah. Uh, the second thing on my list would be, you know, not using a parking brake. Uh, basically, in an automatic car, uh, Lazimu ki Simama, while you're parking your car, uh, you must pop it into park. So, uh, a lot of like let's say like newer younger drivers tend to leave it in park and not you know engage the foot brake or the hand brake uh okifanya this in a heart the you know the transmission of the car because babu okay when you are engaging a parking gear not like the parking the parking gear actually it's not a gear it's like uh let's say it's like a, a pinion actually uh that locks your gears so i think i'll overlay a clip apple yeah, so your motion, yeah, it's actually locking your gearbox so that your car doesn't roll while, while it's parked. Let's say maybe, let's say maybe, 
your handbrake fails and it's like a secondary measure but people wanna wanna you know they tend to ignore say more like nikieka park it a rule so uh ukieka park and maybe you're like on a hill leave or some incline uh ina put stress on that pin and sometimes you vunjika and unapata like you've damaged your transmission because of not engaging your handbrake so uh, hand, uh parking you could just to lock the transmission uh foot brake or handbrake in a in a side of the car just you know look. so so people please make sure you engage your handbrake or your foot brake so that you know it lead to other damages like that you can imagine that braking while you're in that pinion brakes and then you you chuma ime toka hapo ingia kwa transmission yako a lot of stuff happens bana so uh yeah always make sure to engage your parking on foot brake yeah and uh, sometimes actually ni shey jaribu like to to leave uh, the car in park in an incline uh, back then i had that notion and uh, nikirudi uh, you know while changing the gear from park to drive i felt a lot of resistance from you know the downward motion a lot of resistance so that you can you signal back then you should check up on that so yeah uh, the next thing on my list to be okay um when when changing gears you must be in a like a really um when changing gears you must come to a complete stop uh okay let's say okay in a in a in an automatic transmission kuna vitu vitu complex some some things like interplanetary gears uh transmission bands which is, you know you compress so that you pitch your torque and uh yeah a lot of stuff apple so transmission car uh, an automatic transmission car the transmission is made so that it change gears the car set it stop the car so when you are when you are when you are when you like quickly change from like let's say reverse to drive while the car is still in motion let's say you are you are reversing and then you may fika to a point where you want to change it into you know drive you you must let the car come to a complete stop so that the transmission is at a time you know uh, something like the transmission bands of which they play are come actually actually transmission bands ni kama clutches but not sort of clutches i don't know in a way uh yeah i said uh, the transmission automatic transmission in you know, entail a lot of technicality must i mention so uh when you when you when you actually change from park to drive lazima hizo vitu disengage and engage so when you like quickly change it from like park to drive uh or not like reverse to drive is it vitu hazi party time so there is a lot of stress and uh if you continue doing this for a lot of a lot a lot of many times a lot of times I actually will end up with you know a bad transmission and then you know, somewhere like Kenya where we have to actually import all our parts unasikia boss itabidi you change gearbox yeah for now kitu ungeza ku avoid to so yeah make sure you come to a complete stop while changing gears it is really important uh, the next thing on my list would be using one foot to drive to drive an automatic transmission I know uh know these days uh automatic transmissions are you know more more in the market more like in the market than manual transmission it is it's a thing so uh and uh, a lot of us comes me me when you some you know we using a manual car na feel like weird to use like one like one foot to drive an automatic transmission but uh the reason why why you're supposed to drive an automatic transmission with one foot is because of the panic situations uh kuna a research ili ili, ili angaliwa and people wali nini wali, wali ilionekana like people when when people panic while driving with they actually tend to like press down on both pedals yani they press down on the gas pedal and the brake pedal of which i don't know why but yeah there is a percentage uh, that when you are panic they actually you know say that they did that so of which i get it in situations of panic a lot of things happen especially in something like you know somebody swerves into your lane and no no and you know you just freak out so um so uh, when that happens uh okay that's why I'll, uh nini manufacturers actually tell you to drive with using one foot i know in a video i did back at uh, the first video i taught a friend uh vivian uh najua kuna mtu alini one about that and uh ningependa too like to acknowledge that i i know that that is not supposed to happen you know using two feet um I, we did uh, after some few more lessons to really change that 
So nilikuwa nataka tu akwa comfortable apate the concepts and then tukatok tukatoka tukaacha kufanya hii kutumia like two feet. Sai najua she's kind of a pro in a way. Yeah. So uh yeah using one using one foot to drive an automatic transmission that's the thing. Uh the next thing on my list would be engaging park uh, the parking gear in a traffic jam or a traffic snarl up. Uh what any party scenario? Unajua like in Kenya we do get like uh like really 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 tough traffic jams kwa sababu you know a road network is not like really developed and stuff. So unaweza kuwa kwa traffic jam at times uh, close to like one hour. So uh, a lot of people who wanna like the jam is ongi wacha na staki kuzima gari let me put it into park and uh, the notion is that you use less fuel while the car is in you know is engaged in the parking gear and uh, is engaged in the parking gear uh, of which is wrong because babu when you engage the parking gear your, your car tends actually to rev higher so maybe let me let me give you a scenario maybe when you're in drive uko pale ume Call like around 900 rpm you know 900 rpm revolutions per minute uh, when you engage it into park your car tends to like you know i i to like rev kidogo let's say it moves from like 900 to up to like 1000 it's an example see how to get as you find you so your car tends to you know burn more fuel when while it's you know in parking and hii ni kitu nimeona a lot kwanza kwanza with my friends they tell me like ah see ki neutral acha nieke park and hata kwa jamu naona ga some people like with their lights unaona mse ame shift into park because you see the lights go like reverse you nini so because reverse ina kwa chini ya park so you go you unaona ga mtu like the lights ime change into reverse then you know like so you see like that person alko ameka into park and when the jumps uh, when the traffic starts moving unaona amepita reverse because unaona so unajua alikuwa park ameenda chini hadi reverse uh wacha nionyeshe so this is the gauge cluster of this car so kwa traffic jam unaona ga mtu ame 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 like, let's say you could drive si ndio you could drive si ndio and uh, unasikia mtu uh, unaona mtu like the lights may change like tata unaona it's because si unajua lazima apite reverse ndio ende park utaona the lights za reverse zimewaka and then when the traffic jam starts moving utaona reverse, uh, reverse tena and then so you'll see uko nyuma wewe uta, utaona obviously the lights ziki 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 change but yeah hata jo unajo what is happening if you're like really knowledgeable so uh, yeah nilikuwa nasema it's a misconception so you actually burn more fuel so you actually ruin your your fuel economy uh, a quick a quick note of advice ukaka uh, kwa traffic jam it's better it's better it's better you shut off the car unajua if the manufacturer ange ange kwa ange kwa nafikiri like the parking the parking gear ina ina, ina save more fuel ange kwa like okay cars these days like uh, i believe something like uh, uh, a honda fit a honda fit a honda fit hybrid they actually use the start and stop technology when your car stops so basically uh ume drive for some time and then uko uko at a traffic jam umepata na traffic the car actually just shuts off inazima inazima kabisa me actually i drove a car that inafanya hiyo kitu kai nilishtuka mimi mimi the car actually just shuts off it shuts off the car set you kikanyaga mafuta hii ukikanyaga mafuta inajiwasha like the startup time is so short it's like the car was not even off so yeah if manufacturers wange wange nini walikuwa ngefikiria like uh, that was a thing uh, like the parking gear was like a thing wange ka parking wange ka parking mode maybe when you are doing that but there you know yeah so it's a common misconception just don't use the parking gear advice for me so uh, the last thing ni jinta direct kwa crowd gani let's say ini ini inaitwa the cherry on top of the ice cream okay a lot of young guys tunapenda ga you know racing you know uh, maybe drag racing and stuff and uh, of which you know your street racing is illegal but uh, kauko in a confined course and unajaga me i always say acha uh, kauko na which car take it to the track enjoy it's not about breaking records just take the car and enjoy so maybe maybe you call like pale kwa start line and you want to launch your car uh, and you're in a you know maybe just a basic automatic transmission so um let's say something like a suzuki suzuki not a sport just a suzuki an automatic transmission unataka kuilaunch and uh, i have seen naitoje 
a lot of guys out there in the internet they tell you like if you want to get a quicker reaction kwa launch you actually you put it into neutral then you rev it and then you when uki feel unataka ku like launch you just put it back into drive and then you let the car take like take all that torque of which hi one that's so dangerous imagine the automatic transmission all, all of these scenarios na happen in attack ku you know do this the computer is telling it do this but the talk actually talking you know talk is you talking here you know talking nguvu or you putting all that stress on it uh, while you know raving and then una una pop it into drive so uh, a lot of stuff in a, in a, get in a kwa jacked off Let, let's say like let's say we see mama pali and then you just get pushed abruptly so uh that is not safe um a quick just advice if you want to launch your automatic automatic transmission i'd rather manzi you just um do something like okay for for me for me uh, off the record i actually tend to like uh you know engage the handbrake then i rev it while the car is in drive or sport depends i rev it while you know engaging the handbrake the car actually just leans kidogo and then yet you just you rev you over rev it just rev kidogo till you feel like okay the car is like you know in somewhere like the stress is not like that much on the on the gearbox then uh, you disengage the the foot brake or the handbrake and then you let the car you let the car you know take you on um or another another thing you just like slightly put it into drive or sport and uh, you know rev the car while holding down the brake obviously the car will lean because probably you are putting stress on it but it on a it on a like okay the gearbox it's already engaged in drive so i call like i call like akuna a lot of stress it a quite jacked off because it's already in drive so uh the car the car will obviously lean kidogo not over rev it just like give it like 40% up of throttle and then okay feel like we well, maybe we start just put your foot off the brake mash the the throttle actually bury the throttle zika yo kit yeah and uh, yeah do that uh and you obviously your information it uh, it uh, like make a lot of sense to you know all those guys when you are like a lot of you know racing and stuff but uh ni kitu tu ni mechuz kwa kapo kwa sababu you know you know manual automatic cars can also be fun so as always uh if you're new here this is the first video in honor from iquinix thank you and uh, please consider subscribing uh as only uh obviously this is an automotive based channel so to not talk automotive stuff not not producing automotive stuff So yeah, consider subscribing and if you are an OG subscriber as always me want thank killer video. Thank you for watching another video. Eh, say to subscribe now aside now asawigi. I remember you every day. So thank you for watching another video. Uh yeah. So see you on the next one. Peace out.